Good morning. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, West Junior High School. Coming to you live from TV Studio A215, welcome to the first broadcast of West Junior High School Live for the school year. I am Kylie. And I am Ayla. And here are your announcements for the first day of school, Monday, August 29th, day one of the six day cycle. Attention all seventh and eighters interested in trying out for the junior high school cheerleading team for the school year. Please listen. Uh, there will be an informational meeting on Wednesday, August 31st during the homeroom in the auxiliary gym. Information about tryouts and physicals will be handed out. Cheerleading tryouts will be held on September 6th, 7th, and 8th after school in the multi-purpose room from 3 to 5 15 p.m. West High School swimming intramurals will be held Monday, Wednesdays, and Thursdays, September 19th through November 10th, 2 30 to 5 30. Bring a suit and a towel. Parent permission forms are required and are available for Ms. Perro in room B309. Attention students, picture day will take place Thursday, September 15th in the multi-purpose room. Students will be called down in groups alphabetically by age. All students must get pictures taken for student IDs, even if you do not purchase a package. Hey students, do you know that you can request a song to be played on the announcements? Stop by the library to fill out a song request form. All songs, of course, must be appropriate for school and are subject to denial. Students are reminded that when you enter the building in the morning, you must remove your hats, hoods, earbuds, and earphones. Your phones should be turned off and put away for the remainder of the day. Teachers, please remember to send any news announcements, shoutouts, congratulations, or game results to Mr. Bernie ASAP. Students, anytime you want a birthday shoutout, please bring it down to the library the day before the announcement is needed. The attendance office would like to remind you that if you are ever absent from school, you need to bring in your absent note to the, win to the absence window ASAP. Each broadcast of West Junior High School Live is recorded and added to the West Junior High School website soon after the announcements are over. Please check the website for any missed announcements. Schooling announcements are played throughout the day on the TVs. Teachers are reminded to have their TVs turned on to channel 15 by 725 each morning. Our broadcast will begin at approximately 730 each day. Attention band members, we will broadcast the lessons each morning on announcements. Please make sure you attend your scheduled lesson. In the lunchroom at American Classics for today, crispy chicken breast tenders with curly fries and whole grain dinner roll. Also, students are reminded that you cannot use cash in the cafeteria. You must use the cash envelope system. And now your weather forecast from the West Junior High School Weather Center. Partly sunny, less humid this afternoon, and a high of 79 degrees. Currently, it's 54 degrees outside. Well, that's it for today's announcements. On behalf of the entire West Junior High School Live crew, I'm Ayla. And I'm Kylie. Thanks for watching. Now stay tuned for the AUP presentation. Have a great day. Welcome to the Student Acceptable Use Policy and Internet Safety presentation. The acceptable use policy covers personal electronic devices including cell phones, MP3 players, computers, video gaming devices, and anything else is readily used to access the internet. The school has rules about the use of electronics. If you are on school grounds, school property, or on a school trip, you must follow the rules related to electronics. If you are using the school's equipment, even at home, you must follow the rules related to its use. It doesn't matter if you own the device or if the school owns the device, you must follow the rules related to its use. Remember, using electronics like computers at school is a privilege. It's not a right. 
it can be taken away. That's why it is so important to follow the rules and to have fun when you're using the technology in school. I want to use computers and technology in school, so what should I do? It's important to remember to use the computers for educational purposes. You can make cool things that are assigned to you to make as part of assignments or projects. You save them to the computer or your network account and you leave all the other electronics at home. In the district, there are some general rules related to technology, and one of them revolves around copyright. Hardworking people write and create things like books and pieces of art. They own them because they created them. You cannot use their stuff as if it were yours. Always, always, always give credit to the people who created it or the person that created it. Never copy and paste someone else's work into your own and claim it as your own. Rule two, obscenity is forbidden. Pictures that are inappropriate for students to see may be obscene. If you think that you are not supposed to be looking at something, it may be considered obscene. If you see an inappropriate picture, close your computer and tell the teacher. Don't tell or show other students around you. That's only going to get you in trouble and in violation of the acceptable use policy. Rule number three, be secure. Keep your personal information to yourself. Never give out your passwords or someone else's password. Never give out personal information like your full name, your phone number, your address, or your location. Pocono Mountain School District enforces web blocking policies as it relates to the content and appropriateness of the page. If a web page is, is blocked, it's most likely not appropriate for school. Just because some things may not be blocked, it doesn't mean it's okay either. You have to make good decisions. If you're finding a website that is blocked, don't go looking for other ways to get to that site. Just accept it and move on. If you're unsure if something is inappropriate, you should close your computer screen and again tell the teacher. Rule number five, don't change or add things to the district computers. Never delete or try to delete or try to install software that's not on the computer. Don't attempt to change or try to change settings on the computer also. This is also in violation of the acceptable use policy. Ricks. Electronic devices are not private. Teachers and staff have the right to look at any electronic device even if they are yours. If you have a cell phone and a teacher has to see it because they think you're doing something inappropriate with it, then they have the right to see it. Don't bring personal electronic devices to school. The district does monitor all internet use and we can always look into your account to see what you've been doing. Again, what can I do with technology? Always use technology at school for educational purposes only. If you would rather not have your teacher see what you're doing on the computer, then don't do it. 
have fun with computers and again they're a tool for learning so you're expected to learn and enjoy using them. A new component of this presentation this year is the internet safety component. What I'm going to cover through internet safety is staying safe online, aspects of social networking, cyberbullying, and some solutions just for maintaining your safety on the internet. Don't give out information that could identify you to strangers like the following. Your address, a phone number, what school you go to, what city or neighborhood you live in. Don't give out personal information like things you like, like sports teams or your favorite actor or actress. Don't ever give out your parents' workplace and definitely don't give out passwords. Here's a shocker. On the internet, people aren't always who they say they are. You can't see them half the time, so seeing is not believing. Somebody posts a picture of them for their profile and they look like a 14-year-old student, but they're really a 47-year-old man. Seeing is not believing. Never ever schedule offline meetings with online-only friends. Tell your parents if anyone tries to meet with you offline. It's Webcams are great tools to be able to connect with family and friends, especially over great distances. However, at the same time, there are some rules to kind of live by when using webcams. If you use chat features such as Uvu or other web-based chats, don't use the random chat feature. You may come across inappropriate materials. Only chat with family and friends and people you know. Don't do anything on a webcam that you wouldn't want the world to see. Think before you upload video responses to people, such as on YouTube. Geolocating tools are awesome tools to keep in touch with where your friends and family are. However, so does everybody else on the internet know where you are then. Listen, carefully consider whether you want to use those services or not, especially on websites like Facebook and other social network things, even games that you partake online. Never check in at school, church, or any place that you visit regularly. Check your privacy settings. Also, ask parents for permission before you use these kind of tools. Again, they may think of it as a good tool to know where you are, but so does everybody else then know where you are. Be spam and scam smart. Don't open strange email from people you don't know or companies you don't know. Also, beware of free downloads, sometimes the freest of downloads have spyware, malware, and viruses attached to them. Also, peer-to-peer -peer networking services, another environment that you may actually potentially download spyware, malware, or viruses that you don't know about. And finally, don't be a pirate of software. Enjoy the software by purchasing it and remaining legal. Sites like Facebook are a great opportunity to share things that are going on in your life with your family and friends. However, don't share family photos without asking permission from the people inside the, in those pictures. Also, ask them before uploading if it's okay if you share that. In the social networking environment such as Facebook, choose your friends wisely. Only friend people you know well. Don't get into contests to see who has the most friends. There's no way you could possibly keep in contact with all of them. Keep your group of friends small, and I guarantee that you'll get much more out of services like Facebook. Protect your information online, especially in services such as Facebook. Don't post your phone number. Don't post your address. Avoid status updates with time and place references. Don't use places that identify you through geolocation services where you are and what you're doing. Set all privacy settings to friends only so that the friends of friends can't see where you are and what you're doing. In social networking, a picture is worth a zillion words. Ask permission to post photos of friends. You can always tag yourself if you've been tagged in photos. Avoid photos that reveal locations like your home and school. Report harmful photos to the authorities or to your parents or to your teachers or to your school administrators. Cyberbullying is bullying through electronic means, such as texting via phones, using Facebook, or even YouTube. In fact, those are extremely popular or infamous ways to, to perform cyberbullying. Cyberbullying is against school rules, and it's also against the law. The best response to cyberbullying is no response. Don't react to them. Responding to the bully will only make it worse. 
If you are bullying or you see bullying or you hear of cyberbullying, report it to parents, report it to teachers, report it to your guidance counselor, report it to administrators. Don't participate in cyberbullying. Encourage others to stand up against it. We live in the 21st century. Being able to do things online and live online, be part of online communities is a part of everyday life. But it's also vital that you stay safe. Come up with a game plan. Work as a team with parents, with teachers, with school administrators to promote safety online. Talk with your parents about how you use online and the activities that you do online. Be a tech teacher. Teach your parents and the teachers about the activities that you do online every day to help promote staying safe. And finally, always accept help from your peers, from parents, from teachers, and the law enforcement to help promote staying safe online. Thank you so much for viewing and listening to the Student Acceptable Use Policy and Internet Safety presentation. If you should happen to have any questions about these topics, please contact your teachers, guidance counselors, or building level administrators.